Hi, this is Piyush Bhargava and I have an interesting case to share with you. On the slide we have several whole body images um, on a patient with history of lymphoma. The first study is on the left showing extensive hypermetabolic lymphadenopathy in the abdomen and pelvis. A couple of foci are seen in the chest and also in the upper abdomen. Patient underwent chemotherapy and the second uh, planar image uh, in the middle shows complete response to treatment with resolution of the previously seen hypermetabolic foci um, consistent with complete response. The patient comes back for a follow-up and then um, on the subsequent uh, whole body image on the right, we see these heterogeneous areas of hypermetabolism involving the entire liver. They're not focal, they're not uh, uh, very intense in FDG activity, but certainly are concerning for lymphoma or uh, some other process. So this patient underwent a um, CT of the liver. On this slide, we have uh, several fused PET CT images from the previous uh, PET CT at which showed hypermetabolic foci in the liver. And also we have uh, corresponding uh, contrast enhanced images from the CT of the liver. And the interesting finding here is that the areas of hypermetabolism such as seen here in the dome and the other foci seen here uh, and more inferiorly in hepatic segment six, they all correspond to normal enhancing liver seen here, seen here and here and also seen here. Now the rest of the liver in this particular uh, uh, window setting shows that the uh, liver is uh, um, steatotic. There is diffusely decreased hyper, uh, decreased attenuation in the liver seen here and here and also here. But there are certain areas which are spared like here and here and these spared areas are the ones that are showing normal enhancement of the liver and normal FDG activity on the PET scan. So this is a great example of heterogeneous hepatic steatosis and hypermetabolism or perceived hypermetabolism seen on a PET scan um, due to normal liver FDG uptake. So a great example of uh, hypermetabolic focal fat sparing. Here is a good article describing fat containing hypermetabolic masses on a FDG PET. Uh, they do mention uh, hepatic steatosis as a cause. Um, and in the literature, I found several other examples of how focal fat sparing uh, can be seen as hypermetabolic uh, activity on FDG PET. Thanks for watching.